Hi everyone, I'm going to demonstrate a new orthopedic repair system, the material and the method. It can be used for very small bones. This is a matchstick, three millimeters in diameter, that I broke and repaired, <clears throat> as you can see. And uh, plates and screws wouldn't work here. There's no plate and screw small enough to work on a small bone uh, under three millimeters diameter. So that's one application for it. Now, this chicken bone, I originally broke right across, the fracture line goes here and then around and then it comes over this way and over the side and then back up to the top. So that, that was the fracture line. And now it's been repaired and it seems like it's stronger than it was originally. Um, so what I want to do next is show how you use this material. So here's another break that I put in the bone right here. And I'm going to put that together and then demonstrate how this material is used. So first of all, here is the material. This is a layer of cellulose called cellate, which stands for cellulose cyanoacrylate. So that's the cellulose. And here's the aluminum foil that's used to cover it temporarily and to uh, form the uh, eventual final shape. You do that by pushing pressure through the aluminum foil onto the cellulose. And uh, so what I'll do first is just tear off a little piece of the uh, cellulose. And I'm going to apply that as a temporary holding tab. Get that in place. I'm going to put this down just for a temporary. Now I'm putting one drop of super glue and then the aluminum foil. And that will hold that tab down until it sets, until the super glue sets. And you see the aluminum foil is stuck to the super glue, which is stuck to the cellulose, which is stuck to the bone. Now this can be removed within five minutes. And that will give us an initial setting. All right now it's coming off very nicely after even, that was only about one minute. And now you see that tab, let me get my glove out of here. All right, so that tab is now set and is holding the two pieces of bone together. Okay, now that we got the bone set in the right place, I'll just finish super gluing this around. Hold it down while it's, while it's setting with the aluminum foil. And the foil can just be wrapped right around it. And one big advantage of the foil over a layer of plastic film is it distributes the heat. A lot of heat generated with super glue and cellulose. So the aluminum serves to cool it down and by putting pressure through it, 
it shapes the final repair. Okay, so now I've got a good amount of cellulose and super glue. And now the next step, simply take another piece of cellulose. We want to get the right, right width of cellulose now. And I want to get the right length so that it'll end up wrapping it around the bone no more, <clears throat> no more than two times. So I'm starting it around the bone now. Totally covering the fracture. And now I'm overlapping around the cellulose over the first layer of cellulose. And that's pretty much all we're going to need. So now, in a series of applications, I will apply the super glue. eventually cover the whole area. But I'm doing it just part of the area at one time. So I can thoroughly and carefully apply the aluminum foil and get a desired shape of the final repair. You see here I've got a nice smooth layer of uh, foil on top of the repair. And that just has to set for a couple of minutes. And then we peel the foil back enough to saturate more of the cellulose. Super gluing another area of the cellulose. And I'll wrap the aluminum foil up from this other side. And I can overlap the aluminum foil onto itself. And then within two minutes, I can peel the aluminum back again and finish applying the super glue. Now, the part that I missed is sh <coughs> shows up as a lighter color all along in here. So it's obvious where the super glue is needed by the uh, lighter color indication. And we just saturate that now. That's our final application of super glue. And we just wrap that up with the aluminum foil. Once again, now all the way around.
then this will cure within 10 minutes and be 90% of its eventual strength. And within half an hour,